This is not the angle that I will be filming at, but uh, I need to play some music. Alright, let's get serious. My fan is on, so if you hear... It's because it's hot as fuck in here. I had one person say this. And then somebody said this. That's not even relevant to the video, but uh, they said I was funny and I liked that comment. So, uh, uh. I've been wanting to make this video for so long, but I didn't want to make this kind of video like an advice or tips video until I got into a program. Who am I to give advice if I personally, like, I can't even get into a program, you know? I got into a nursing program finally, and I'll be starting fall 17. So this is all the things that I'm going to cover So, I'm fucking around. So, these are just some things. The top two are for the T's, and then the rest are just like study tips for those science classes that we all gotta take, you know. So, there are eight classes. Um, there's four science classes, and then four like GE classes. So, the four GE are communications, English, sociology, and math 11 statistics or like the, a math class basically and for the science classes we have chemistry human anatomy human physiology and microbiology so going into spring semester i took physiology and i came in kind of tense kind of scared that fear really drove me i studied every day for hours like i um you don't need to do this to get an a but i personally i know myself and i know that i need to be doing this i need to be hella extra to get an a in physio right like you can honestly i know some people who don't even study that much they probably still got a's but this is just me and i just really wanted to guarantee that a for myself so i'd rather overwork than underwork and say he covered 30 or 40 slides that day i have right after class i would go to starbucks and I would study those 30 to 40 slides. I didn't wait until the week before the test to review everything. I studied what he taught that day, the same day. Um, how I study, I don't think I have my notes. So he'll literally just teach all of this. And all this writing right here is just, I gotta get, I gotta get serious, this, this is serious. If I'm gonna make this video, I might as well really just go in depth. So by the end, I'll have like all this rewritten in my own handwriting. And then, that's where I just go over what I read, uh, what I wrote, sorry. So, I'll get that stack of paper that I wrote, and I'll just read that shit over and over. It just starts off kind of like, like this, okay? So, this is when you know it's, okay, I wrote it one time, I didn't really read it over again. The second time I go in, I'll get like a colored, like a green one, and I'll be like, fat digestion must go through emulsification because not water soluble I'll read it and I'll go oh okay underline circle third time maybe grab a highlighter reread that shit again but this time around I'm like oh this one stands out highlight that circle this and by the end of it so by the time so say I have a test tomorrow this will not look like this this will look like a mess it'll have pink green all the colors of the rainbow so that is my tip that's what I did to study for physio my we had uh, for every lecture exam you had a multiple choice section and then you have six essay questions gave us the essay questions in advance so for example he'll give us like 20 essay questions 15 to 20 depending on you know the chapters or whatever how much you put into the class is how much you will get out if you just do the bare minimum like okay he lectured all right I got the lecture notes all right I wrote it I'm just gonna read it once just read the notes I expect an A the fuck down again some people it works for them that way but again i'd rather over prepare than under prepare like he'll have the essay question and then i'll do bullet points whatever works for me i wrote them in do you see that so bullet points so on the test i'm not going to do bullet points i form all these bullet points into an essay okay but i want to get the general ideas in my head bullet 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 so when i write my essay on that day I can get all these bullets and form it into an essay rather than memorizing the essay like receptors and ligand they separate ligand goes to lysosome or the golgi for processing then it goes transport vessels with receptors moved to the cell membrane transport vessels and cell membrane so all this is just step by step of what's going on and at that time when i was studying i can picture this all in my head so when i go in that day and he decides like he doesn't have to pick this though so for the essay question he'll give you 15 to 20 questions but he'll only pick six on exam day so it's kind of your job to study all 15 to 20 and just memorize everything there's keywords that you need to list inside of your essay 
to show your instructor that you understand the whole process. You don't just know the big picture. Like they don't want you to know the big picture. They want you to know the detail. They want to know, do you know that there's sodium voltigated channels that open and then sodium flows in? They want you to know, so when the sodium ions flow in that it causes a depolarization strike, which will trigger positive feedback. So do you see how everything is just kind of connected to another? You just need to know every detail and guaranteed A. So the first test comes around. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, you guys, story time. I have my first physio exam on a Wednesday. I still remember this. Wednesday at 9 a.m. Tuesday night, you guys, I had a concert, a G Easy concert. Me and my boyfriend at the time drove down Monday night to Southern California and we spent the night there. And um, I studied, obviously, like every time we were in the car, I studied my essay questions because that's the main thing. Like, lecture I got down, but memorizing all those essay questions, like, I read it to you guys. It's so detailed. G Easy did not come out until like 10 30. And we ended up not leaving until like midnight. We actually had to leave a little bit early. I was so stressed about the exam. I couldn't even really enjoy the concert. So I told my boyfriend at the time, I said, hey, can we leave? Right, it starts off with who got the highest score to the down i look at it I'm like okay i'm not gonna look at the top because there's no way i got an a i i know i put in the work to get an a like my work ethic was a1 i'm like okay don't see my id number but this is getting weird i get to the top you guys i think i got like the third highest score on this exam and i got like a 96 on it and i was like i almost choked i literally was in lecture and i was like i like my heart literally stopped i still doubt myself right i'm like okay that's not my id number i'm thinking of someone else's id number so i literally sit there i'm just like Okay, well that's my ID number. On my final lecture exam, so I took three lecture, three lab, now I have one more lecture, which is our final. I had such a high A, I think I had like a 98, that my professor told me like, if I were to fail my exam, I could still keep my A. But, that's just not me. Like, I don't even want to sound so annoying right now. You're like, wow, what an overachiever. But, you guys, it's just something like, I just didn't feel good, just... I worked so hard this whole semester, the last exam, just throw it out the door, just like, ah, fuck it. Like, I don't know, it just, like, ethically, like, morally, it just did not feel right. I ended up acing all my lab exams and all my lecture exam in physio, and that's when I was like, wow. Like, I really felt really, I just felt so good. Like, I was like, good job. Like, I told you guys, before physio started, I was like, crap, I only got a 92 in anatomy, and if physio is way harder in anatomy, how am I going to get higher than a 92 but i ended up doing way better in physio than i did in anatomy sorry for rambling about physio it's just i feel like that class was just such a a big milestone for me because i really set my mind to it i took micro in the summer micro is a completely different subject than anatomy and physio it's all like bacteria and stuff so it's like it's not hard it's just um memorization there's a bunch of different tests like there's this test and this is an example of what my notes would look like. Like the triple sugar iron auger test. So you would run this test, you know, to see if it's like gram negative, gram positive. Like you do like the gram positive, gram negative stain. You find out, okay, if it's positive, you're going to run these tests. If it's negative, you're going to run these tests. Once you scrub like the solution onto here, which they'll teach you, you're going to incubate it. And then the next day in lab, that's when you read it. So you're going to get your results. It's going to look like this. You're going to get either that color, that color, that color, or that color. And then that's where it tells you on here like, which color means what okay so the whole point of micro your final lab exam is to discover an unknown so these are all the gram positive bacteria gram positive all these names here then on this side is all the negatives so like e coli is a negative enterobacter aerogenes the final exam you're gonna get two unknown solutions so they're all just gonna be in this liquid thing and you're gonna have to pick a gram positive and then a gram negative and then you're gonna run multiple tests to get to the bottom of it. So like for gram positive, these are all the tests that are available to run. You're gonna learn all these. So all those experiments I were talking about is listed right here. So there's the motility test, the glucose test, the lactose test, the sucrose test, the indole test, the methyl red, the vulgus proscara, citrate, hydrogen sulfide production, urea. Oh, I think there's another paper. <gasps> Yay, okay, so perfect. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna write your name. Mish didn't finish writing because we had a separate paper for it and it's gonna say okay unknown number so you're gonna have your tube number right here right and then it's gonna say check one gram stain result was it gram positive or gram negative for this one I got gram positive and then it's gonna ask you bacterial morphology is it rods like bacilli or is it cock cocci which is the round ones mine happen to be gram positive cocci so now you know you that already broke down a lot of your list and then you break it down more so test perform you do the first test and like this is what i was talking about you do your first test and if it's positive you go here if it's negative you go here and once you go to the negative side there's certain tests that you run and you run this test right here then if it comes out positive or negative it goes down and then you run that test positive negative goes down 
So yeah, so that was microbiology. So then after eight weeks of this class, I ended up with an A in micro as well. Now I'm going to talk about the T's test. So I still remember um, the day I took my T's test. It, it, it was August 19th, 2016. I don't know where I even put my ATI book. I probably just threw it away because I got so excited that I passed. I'll show you guys right here. I got an 80.7. For reading, I got a 90.5. Math, I got 86.7. For science, I got an 81.3. And then for English and language, I got a 63.3. I suck at grammar. I don't know why. ATI is who actually writes your actual T's test. So why would you study someone else's practice test? Study the people who are writing the test because they know, you'll know that that's what they want you to know. And then these are just extra. Um, this is one of the books. This is just the McGraw, whatever. It doesn't hurt to have extra practice. Um, overall, the main thing I want you to, number one, focus on is yourself and your mental health. A lot of people just kind of like brush it off and they don't see how important mental health is. But uh, if you're not mentally there and you're not happy internally and genuinely and just you're not having good energy, I don't know how you can honestly sit there for hours and study. And I've been there. It's been a tough second year because I had I was in a relationship and that relationship was quite toxic. All you ladies and men out there know like toxic relationships are so draining. They really drain your energy and they drain you mentally and physically and it's hard to study and just have that on your mind. And I remember this one time at Starbucks, it was just to the point where I was studying for an anatomy lab exam. I still remember this and I was going through this rough patch with my boyfriend at the time and I'm normally good at just suck it up study. School first, school first. But I'm human, you know, sometimes I zone out. Like, I just stare out the window and I, before you know it, 10 minutes go by and I'm just completely zoned out, thinking of this dumb, irrelevant situation with my boyfriend. And, um, I was overwhelmed and I just had to cry. I had to, you know that feeling when you have to hold in tears? Like, it's hard. Like, you just want to burst, right? Like, you're holding in tears. You feel like everything, like, water's gonna come out of your ears, your mouth, and your nose. Like, you just feel so overwhelmed. I just had to go cry it out. So I go into the bathroom and I just cry that shit out. I poured out. I just, it was, I was hurting so much. But I felt better after I cried and I just sucked it up. And I went back out to the table and I just studied. And it sounds bad and I don't know why I would put myself through that. But I went through it and I just came out a stronger person. I was able to study and go through that. But I would never put myself in that situation again. I will never be in a toxic relationship if they're not benefiting me and they're not helping me. As, I'm not making it a selfish thing, but I am saying if they're just draining you of your energy, don't be around them. Like Drake said. You need to put yourself first, your mental health, your physical health. Eat right, sleep right. If going on a walk every day for 10 minutes makes you happy and relieves your stress, go do it, please that's you got to look at the big picture and right now there's going to be ups and downs don't get me wrong i'm all smiley now but once nursing school starts i'm probably going to want to rip my hairs out but look at the big picture and the big picture is you're going to be saving lives and you're going to be making impacts you're going to be making an impact on people's lives in a positive and happy way thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope it helped you in some way shape or form and yeah, I'm just good luck on your journey. Honestly, like I'm so happy for you. You should be proud of yourself. Nursing is not an easy major. People seem to look down on it a lot. Like, oh, nursing, like wh why don't you want to be a doctor? Oh, you're not smart enough to be a doctor? Oh, because bitch, I want to be a nurse. If I wanted to be a doctor, I'd go to med school, okay? But I'm going to nursing school. So like, shut the fuck up and work at your little desk job. So guys. Brush off the haters. There's a song by Russ called Do It Yourself. So anytime you guys are studying and you're just feeling discouraged and you just need like a pick-me-up, I don't know if this is your type of music, but it helps me and I want to share it with you guys. Yeah, I don't need her. I don't need him. Fuck it, I do it myself. No one's got this. No one's got that. Fuck it, I do it myself. Everyone pussy. Fuck it, I do it myself. Yeah. Better cash out every month off a of hoax. I've been on this way before I had. No one taught me. I'm like, like damn. damn, fuck it, I do it myself. So, have a great day. <laughs> All my fellow pre-nursing students, that will be our song. That will be our motto, fuck it, I do it myself. Here's a virtual hug. I wish you the best of luck. And uh, thank you so much for watching.